everybody so it's Misty with this family life and I'm bringing you along on an eight-week journey with me it'll be at least eight weeks um, to do a couch to 5k program I'm trying to get back in the habit of going to the gym and not just paying for a gym membership and so I thought I would bring you along maybe it'll give you some uh, motivation to get out there as well so uh, for day one I did a five-minute warm-up just a basic walk I did at 2.5 miles an hour on an incline of five then I took away the incline and began the alternating so you run for a minute and then you walk for a minute and a half and you alternate that back and forth for 20 minutes so I did that for 20 minutes and then I ended with a cool down walk of five minutes again on the 2.5 at an incline of five and so that was a really hard workout for me. Um, I'm going to be honest, I am not in shape to be a runner, so um, that's new for me and a challenge. And so um, just decided to try to make this happen. So uh, I will admit, like, the first few of the minutes of running were really hard. Like, I would make it like 25 seconds, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, how many seconds are left? Then um, towards the middle of it, I guess middle to the later part of it I would make it like 30 seconds and then I'd make it 45 seconds without feeling like oh my gosh when is this minute gonna end so uh, that'll just give you an idea guys like we all start somewhere I am NOT starting at the top of the fitness chart um, I've spent the last year taking off almost 100 pounds of weight and so now I'm getting to the exercise like more into the exercise part and I just feel like I need to be doing more um, activity so my activity before this was my body was carrying around 100 extra pounds every day and now it's not and it needs more to do so that's where we're at so that was day one and I'll catch you back here on day two bye all right so today is day three of the couch to 5k I didn't record yesterday I made it in about seven minutes and my stomach did that um, nice little warning shot it gives you when you're gonna have stomach problems and so Yesterday I was pretty sickly. I guess it was some sort of 24-hour stomach bug or something I ate that didn't agree with me. So yesterday I utilized my rest day for the week, which is fine. Uh, there was no way I could have been anywhere near a gym. I would have just spent the whole time in the locker room. So today is day three. Got back to it. Um, I did the five-minute warm-up. I did the 20 minutes of alternating one minute of running with one and a half minutes of walking followed by a five minute cool down period. And then I went ahead and spent an extra 10 minutes on the treadmill just walking at an incline tonight, uh, just to kind of make up a little bit for yesterday. So I got in seven minutes yesterday, I got in 10 minutes today, and the goal is 20 minutes so of some sort of routine yesterday. So I, I feel like I made up for it a little bit today. I know you kind of can't go back and make up for a day, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So. Um, instead of having a rest day on Sunday, I'll just do some cross train that day instead of doing it yesterday. So just move my rest period for this week. So that's it for today. My legs are like jello. Um, I'm hot, I'm tired, and now it's time to go get the kid from karate. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hang in there with me. We're gonna make it through this couch to 5K thing if it kills us, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good evening, everybody. It is officially day five of my first week of week one of the Couch to 5K eight-week program. So last night would have been night four. Um, I knew I wasn't going to get a work in in last night because we had our son's first concert to go to. Um, it's not our first concert, but he got to go see a band for the first time. And so we uh, took him to dinner and then out to see uh, his first band. So that was super exciting for him. He is in drum lessons, so he's all about um, any sort of music that he's heard in his drum lessons and stuff. So that was a fun evening for him. And so um, on the sheet for the week, it actually had last night listed as a rest or a cross train day. So I used it as a rest day. Today is day five. I was back at the gym, did my five minute warm up. Did my alternating one minute with uh, one and a half minute walking for the 20 minutes, then the five minute cool down. And then I actually went ahead and did another five minutes on a level 10 incline at a two and a half, just because I'm trying to work on tuning, uh, tuning, toning up the glutes and stuff. So uh, that helps a little bit with that. 
So that is what I got in today. So officially for the rest of the week, it calls for Saturday, which is tomorrow being rest or cross train. I am going to come to the gym tomorrow and get in a workout. Um, it won't be a running workout, but I'm gonna start trying to utilize some of the weight machines at the gym. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little rowing in there as well. I like the rowing machine, so we might hit that as well. Um, Sunday is officially listed as just a complete rest day, but I'm not going to do that this week since I had um, the one night that I was sick and didn't get in the full workout, and then last night was a rest night anyway, so um, I will come to the gym Sunday as well and probably just um, do incline walking for that night. So I will bring you along those two nights, and then I'll post and let you know how week one went. Uh, Monday of this week when I started I weighed in I took all my measurements and everything which um, I'm not expecting a huge shift for this week but we'll see how things turned out so I will let you know and I'll, I'll post this video after I get the next week's uh, measurements and everything just so you can see on a week-to-week -week basis what the progress was um, I will say that this workout was just as hard as the first one it's just as hard as the second one so I did it. That's all I can say for it. It's to me, it's not getting any easier yet, but that's okay. Um, it says if you move to the next week and it's too hard, just back to the week before. So it may just be that I need two weeks at week one, but I'm not going to say that yet. I'm going to try week two and just see how it goes. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. All right, guys. So it's 931 at night. It's still day five. Uh, my kids are actually next door to the gym. Well, one of my kids, my son, Axton, and his friend, Esri, are here for open gym tonight. So I went ahead and headed back over to the gym and got in another 30-minute workout. So um, nothing too strenuous, just uh, went in and walked on the treadmill for 30 minutes. So that get me above my step goal for the day. So I'm close to 11,000 steps for the day. So. That felt good to do. So just a little added bonus workout. Fit it in where you can. All right, hi everybody. So it's day six workout. Uh, today would be listed as a resting day or um, any sort of cross training day. So today I came to the gym and I just did 30 minutes on the treadmill. It's about all I have time for. And uh, Sunday is gonna be biking with my son. So if that stays the plan, I'll let you know. Um, nothing has kind of gone to plan. This week, um, I've had a minor car accident that messed up my car, so my husband's fixing that. We've been having a shop built in the backyard. There's lots of stuff going on there. Um, my husband was diagnosed with shingles this morning, so I'm fixing to make my second trip to the pharmacy to try to get his medicine. Uh, just lots of stuff going on. My son fell and busted a lip open, and or didn't fall. I guess he was trying to lay his head down in the car and somehow slammed his face into the car and busted open his bottom lip. It's just been one thing after another, but um, getting the work in, getting the work done, that's all that matters. Um, everything hasn't been on the exact day it was meant to be or anything, but that's all right. We made it, we're making it through week one. We're going to move on to week two. So I will say this, doing 30 minutes, just walking on the treadmill today, even working at an incline up and down and different things seemed easier um, after doing this last week of running and walking so that's nice maybe it is making a difference um, I will say so far as far as my weight it has made zero difference in fact I'm actually up a little bit compared to last week um, but those of us that are bariatric patients just know that that uh, can happen and it can be very frustrating I think it's even more frustrating for us than it is for normal people because we are so like watching everything we're watching everything you know and so it could be you know just anytime you start a new routine your body has to adjust to that so it's going to retain more um, of the fat and things it's not going to burn the same right away because it doesn't know what you're planning on doing and it can be water retention because it's super hot here it's like 107 degrees here in texas um in the shade but it could be any number of things period coming up. You just never know, but it is super frustrating for bariatric patients. So up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to stick with it. This is not really about losing weight. This is about building muscle and just uh, pushing my body further. So that's it for today. And we'll see you on the bike ride uh, with my son. So bye.
All right, everybody. So, uh, for Sunday evening, I did go on a bike ride with my son. I did not record that. Uh, we got back rather late. We decided to wait until it was dark to go bike riding because here in Texas, it's been like 103 to 107 during the day. And that's just too hot for bike riding. So we did it after dark, which was nice. Um, he's got lights on his bike and his uh, wheels. So that lit up the street a little bit for us. And our neighborhood, we didn't have to worry about cars coming or anything. And then uh, it was nice to be able to see the stars out and just enjoy our time together. So we did almost 32 minutes of bike riding and it was about 3.3 miles of bike riding yesterday. So that was pretty good. And that's his first uh, long bike ride with me in a long time. So I'm quite proud of him for making it as far as he did. He was pretty tired at the end. Um, so that completes week one of the Couch to 5K program. So we got in plenty of good workouts. And this week I'm going to kind of focus more on my nutrition side as well as the exercise side of things. Just um, because I feel like the more I work out, the more my tastes are changing. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like I'm not craving a juicy cheeseburger. I'm craving something healthy. And so um, I kind of want to feed that as well. And that's kind of what this year of uh, focus for me is going to be about. Last year was just about the weight loss surgery and then the taking off the weight. And so um, the last... So that was March of 2021. So March of 2021 through June of 2022 were basically spent on that goal. And um, so that goal is over and now we've moved into just trying to be healthier as far as the activity we're doing and the food we're putting in our body still. So uh, that's where I'm at on that. So I did promise to give you an update on um, weight loss and inches in this video. So I am up 2.4 pounds. Like I said, that's hard to swallow as a gastric patient knowing that I have changed nothing as far as nutrition in the last week. Um, the only thing I changed is my activity level, but I know, like I said um, earlier, you can kind of shock your system. So your system's kind of retaining um, either water or fat stores because it's not sure what you're up to. And um, it could also be period weight you know, period coming up. It could be water weight, water retention because it's so hot outside. There's a million different things, a million different things that can trigger that. And for a gastric patient, that's the hardest thing is to get on the scale and see that number be higher, especially when you know you're doing everything right. So I just kind of have to put that away. And so what they say in the gastric community is do not focus on the pounds, focus on the inches. Did you lose inches? Because if you've lost inches, it could be a combination of a lot of different things. So I did lose inches this week. Um, from last week, I've lost two and a half inches total um, on the measurements that I'm doing. And so that's a huge plus and I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that as a win. I'm gonna be happy with that. So those 2.4 pounds, I'm gonna just hope, you know, that they are going to go away uh, rather quickly and I'm just gonna be happy to focus on the inches that are lost. And so another thing that I would say is I've also started back on a new medication this week. Um, I've taken it in the past. It's supposed to help um, with gastric issues that I'm having since my surgery. And it caused me to bloat and put on five pounds rather quickly. But I had started taking it in combination with a new birth control pill. Um, I've had my tubes tied. The birth control pill was just to uh, get my cycle regulated before a big trip that we were going on. I didn't want to have to deal with my cycle while I was gone on the cruise. So um, I'm no longer taking the birth control pills at all. So I decided to give the, the other medication another try just to see how it goes. Uh, it's called Linzess. It helps with irritable bowel syndrome and constipation, like chronic constipation. But um, I'm one pill in and I'm already starting to bloat. So I'm not sure if that's a good sign for this medication. It says the symptoms like side effects could last up to two weeks before they start to go away. So I'm going to try to be patient and just see how it goes. But if I'm like getting close to a weekend and I see that I'm like five pounds up on the scale and I'm bloated all the time, I'm just going to quit taking it again because I know that that's what's causing it. And I don't want to get to where I don't fit in any of my clothes or anything because I'm so bloated. And if it's not helping with the problem either, then there's no point in me taking it. So anyways, that is the update for this week. We're going to start week two and we'll 
we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you guys next week and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on. So couch to 5k. If you've ever done this program, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it or how far you made it into it before you quit. Um, I'm trying not to quit. So um, also if you have a favorite running song, drop it in the comments. I'm looking for uh, new running songs to keep me going. Right now my favorite one is Milf Money by Fergie. It's funny to say that. You would think that wouldn't be a song that I would like, but um, it's got a good beat to it. It keeps me going on the treadmill. So let me know your favorites in the comments, guys. See you next week. Bye.